Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the city touching. All right, number six, cubicles are more popular than ever. Mm. Workers want privacy. Now that people are back in the office, they're realizing they don't want that open space floor plan that seemed cool a few years back. Another thing they hate, hot desking. That's oh when boy. computers or areas are used on a rotating system similar to this <laughs> room. That's what, that's uh, what yeah. you've got yeah. in the sports office, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It is what I have, but I have my own office now. Yeah. Well, it, people don't want to share computers. They want their own designated right. space, but not every company can add yeah. cubicles. So they're adding things like quiet zones for workers who don't want to be disturbed. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, where do you hide in an open space? You need a little... Yeah, There's a little separation. We've never had an open space here, right? Everybody has pretty we, the much. The whole it. newsroom's an open yeah. space, isn't it? I thought there were no cubicles. cubicles. No, well, there's I, no well, separation. I gotta be honest, cubicles. I don't venture much out there. <laughs> There's I no walls. Little, no, it's all open. I really have no idea. I have my little cave in the sports office, and <laughs> yeah. I don't leave it. Well, uh, oh, well, yeah, anyway. it's something new every day. It's only <laughs> oh, been 17 geez. years that I've been here. Yeah. Uh, number five. Time to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. No, oh, brother. Fringe fall is upon us. Ooh. From jackets to skirts, handbags to boots. You know what Fringe says? I'll tell you what, what Fringe says. It says, I'm here for the party, and I brought the chips and dip. Yeah. Fringe says, I'm the first one picked for the team. Oh. Fringe says, I'm up going to get a standing ovation at karaoke and probably go home with the bartender. In other words, Fringe says, I am up for a knee. Thing. All right. Doesn't this make you not want to do it when they say everybody's doing it? I don't get it. I don't know. It made me want to go get my, my short shorts and like cut the yeah. cut, cut little the fringes yeah. in them because there was all yeah. women in that. I think guys could do guys it too. Guys could do it too. I've always worn fringe yeah. very well, Larry. That's one thing I've complimented you on for <laughs> you. Do. Uh, number four, say hello to Izzy the Frenchie. You might already know her. She's a bit of an internet sensation, a dog fluencer with a million <laughs> followers on Instagram and in certain circles. She's also known as the doggy Joan Rivers because this girl can sell just about yeah. anything. Izzy has her own line of high-end dog jewelry from 14 karat gold paw earrings for $425 for humans. And for the pup who has everything, a yeah. diamond collar for $52,000. You know, I see a lot of people do this. You know, the, the problem with that is, is yes. that it's a pretty short-term business plan. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why, like, after yeah. five years, they always introduce, like, a puppy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A They're like, friend, oh, we got him friend. a baby. No, you didn't yeah. get him a baby sister. You get, you, you know. You're preparing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three, some wedding planners are sharing tips on what not to have at your reception. The trends, they say, are outdated or tacky. Are you ready? They say food trucks take too long to feed all your guests at one time, so skip yeah. them for the main meal. But bring them in for late night snacks. Okay. They also say cash bars are tacky. Well, that's always been the case, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. The rule is, under no circumstances should your guests have to pay for their own food or drinks. Right. If you can't afford it, don't do it at all. Right. Very, right. very true. Have a smaller scale thing yeah. instead. Have yes. a dry wedding. People love them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number two, uh, you might think you're not cool enough for a chocolate manicure, but you're wrong. You're more than cool enough. Choose a dark brown that best fits your mood, but the key is you gotta keep it simple. This season, it's matte or gloss, so uh, it, it doesn't matter. No. Well, that's Just... the only two types there are. I mean, what? Robin. He's uh, saying you can do either one's good. That's oh. what, Thank you, Larry. I'm listening. It doesn't matter. <laughs> There's just one thing to remember when choosing a chocolate manicure. Don't make your nails too long or it'll look too Halloween. Uh, you want to think short, you want to think sheet. Okay. You know that? Number one, Larry. All right, here's an 80s hotline back when kids thought they were calling to talk to actual celebrities like the two Corys. <laughs> Uh, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, the stars of movies like License to Drive and The Lost Boys, to name a few. 
guess what? Corey Haim and Corey Feldman are giving out their personal numbers. If you call 1-900-909-3700, you can listen to their private phone messages and get their personal number where you can leave them a message of your own. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. Ask your parents before you call. 1-900-909-3700. If you call me right now, I'll give you my private number. Um, you call that number and you'll hear a recording and I'll give you my personal number if you call that. Um, and we'll wrap. Guess what? Corey Haim and Corey Feldman are giving out their personal numbers. Oh, so boy. What happened? Corey Haim really looked like he rehearsed for that yeah. commercial, huh? <laughs> what but happened is a lot of parents got big phone bills. Yeah. Oh. And what happened to you again for people who don't it, know? Mine was, I never called the two Corys. Had I seen that commercial, there's a good <laughs> chance I may have. I called DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Of course you did. Don't ask me why. I had to know what they were up you to. You sure did. Yeah. Oh, that's the six and six. <laughs>